In this video, we'll learn how to make the fried appetizer that Italians are crazy about, fried zucchini blossoms. This fried zucchini flowers recipe is easy to make at home, so save them from the garden or ask a farmer to save some for you. Before frying zucchini flowers, there are a few things you'll want to do to get them ready. First, remove these tough outer leaves. Most Italians also remove the stamen or pistil of the zucchini flowers. They are perfectly edible, but they can be a bit bitter. Zucchini flowers are delicate, so to avoid tearing them while removing the stamen or pistil, set them vertically and open them up gently from the top. Use two fingers to pull it out, or use a pair of kitchen scissors to do the job. Our zucchini flowers are prepared, and so it's time to make a quick batter. To make the batter for fried zucchini flowers, combine all-purpose or cake flour with cold carbonated water. And mix until you have a thin batter, like a crepe batter. Put a few ice cubes in the finished batter to keep it cold. In the meantime, get the frying oil ready. Use peanut or another oil with a high smoke point. Heat the oil to 340 degrees Fahrenheit or 170 degrees Celsius. Now we dip our zucchini blossoms gently in the batter, shake them off, and add them to the hot oil. Don't add too many at once. Use a fork to separate them in the beginning if they try to cling to one another. Fry them until the bottom is crispy when you tap it with a fork. Then flip and finish frying. When the flowers are crispy on both sides, transfer them to an absorbent towel. Salt immediately and serve. Or use panko to finish off the fried zucchini flowers like this, Japanese style. And don't forget to subscribe for more recipes like this from Italy and beyond, and click the bell for new video notifications.